For eight days straight, Christian Kriegel Maurer has awed fellow competitors and fans alike with a virtuoso display of flying prowess and flawless tactics at this year's Red Bull X Alps. Since setting off from Salzburg on July 5th, he has flown and hiked much more than the straight line distance of 1,038 kilometers over the mountains through 10 turn points to Monaco. I really like the, the adventure. I like the hike and fly sport and maybe it's exactly what I can do best. I'm not very fast on the ground, I'm not the fastest pilot in the air, but in, in, uh, in, a, in a mix of that, uh, in this competition it shows very good. So to be here as, as, a, as a winner, it's a very special feeling and, and I'm very happy. The Bavarian sunny boy Sebastian Huber had an incredible performance in his race premiere. Even though he's a newbie to this competition, he showed that he's an expert in this sport. Like all the athletes, he was struggling with the difficult weather conditions during certain stages of this race, but in the end he claimed a comfortable second place after pulling a night pass and hiking the last 100 kilometers to the final turn point. As the first place rookie, he also wins the Mazda Rookie Trophy. The goal was to take it as an adventure. And it's a great feeling to be here, healthy, and this is all. <laughs> From the jaws of defeat, Austrian adventurer Paul Guschelbauer succeeded in claiming third place to the relief of his supporters and fans who had earlier watched in agony and despair as he fell to fourth. He enjoyed a second place position for much of the race and even challenged the four-time champion Maurer on several occasions. But that changed on Sunday when an unfortunate decision saw him grounded by strong wind and then overtaken, first by Sebastian Huber and then caught by the chase group. It all ended in a head-to-head -head race with Italian Aaron Durogati and Frenchman Antoine Girard and Gaspar Petiot. But Guschelbauer makes it onto the podium and can celebrate a well-earned third place in a race where mostly everything went well for him. It's great to reach Monaco again. Third place is also good. There was a chance to do better, but now I had, in the end, I had to fight for the third place. But it's perfect. I mean, it's, it's not a big difference to the first and the second still. And yeah, it's cool. For the top six athletes, the race may be over, but for the rest, there is still time left on the clock. A record number of competitors are expected to reach the goal in Monaco during the remaining hours of the Red Bull X Alps Adventure Race. Stay tuned and follow all the outstanding remaining racers with our live tracking at RedBullXAlps.com. <laughs>